Welcome to Building with BWO Season 3. I'm excited. It's a very exciting day. I turned on the uh, bonus chests. Yes. Because why not? I, I've never done that at the start of the world, and I just wanted to see. We get some a little bit of food. It's not bad. That's pretty cool. Oh, and a chest and some torches. That's nice. But anyway, we are starting a brand new single player world and in, in, in this world if you don't know if you're new to the series uh, what I like to do is focus on uh, just some of the aspects of building now I do some other things like uh, oh you know perfect redstone and stuff like that from time to time uh, but uh, basically over the last 10 years the 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 thing I like about this series is it's kind of, I can go back and I can kind of see, hey, what have I done in 10 years? How have I improved uh, or how have I changed as far as, well, a person? <laughs> uh, but building in the game uh, is is the main thing. I, I said years and years and years ago, what, what would I want to be if I, if I could pick what I wanted to be good at in this game? And it was I wanted to be a good builder. So... Yeah, seeing my progress over, you know, the last 10 years has been nice and encouraging. Cow, I think, I think I spare you. Although, are those cows or those are cows over there? Let's just, let's just take one out. Ooh, that was a good payoff. Lots of horses and donkeys as well. That's nice. But what are we doing with this world? It'll be exciting to see what happens in the next 10 years. Uh, how we improve, you know, we're going to be able to do some building here and then in 10 years look back at it and say, wow, what a noob. Yeah, so this is the brand new 1.18 terrain and big caves, big cliffs, all that stuff. It's amazing. Uh, okay, some sheep way over there as well. I kind of need, <laughs> you know, B-dubs, I need a bed. I need a bed pretty early on here. Uh, but, ooh, okay. Good. This is a good start. Although, it would all have to be the same color, wouldn't it? Yeah, they would all have to be the same color wool. So, that one gets a pass. Terrain, moving around on the terrain here early on is going to be a little bit difficult, I got a feeling. The way the ores have been distributed is way different as well. So, we'll have to get used to that. Lots of things to get used to. But the main thing I've done with this world that I'm very excited about is the fact that this world, and I've wanted this for a very long time, this world is... Ooh, <laughs> beat up stuck. This world is a large biome world. So, all the biomes here are much bigger. And although I wouldn't... I would like if they weren't as big <laughs> as they actually are, uh, they're, they're huge, huge. Uh, but they're big. Hi, okay, let's just do it. Okay, okay, we're down here. Whoa, okay. All right, let's get some coal since we're right here, and we're going to work our way to that sheep. But anyway, I'll keep telling you about some, some of the things here. So I set up a large biome world. The reason why I did that is because I like... It helps with immersion. I like large biome world because when you look around, if you're trying to build in an area and set a scene... Careful. Just just watch your back. Don't die first episode right off the bat. Uh, you, if you're trying to set a scene, you, ooh, we could eat fish as well. Uh, and, and you look around and you're like, okay, I want this to be like a desert scene. But then off in the distance is like, you know, birch trees or sometimes, I know they've worked on this, but, you know, sometimes you get like uh, f snow. <laughs> My old world was was like that a lot because it had a lot of old generation in it. Um, but here, as far as the eye can see, it's going to be the biome that we picked. All right, where's this sheep at? He's probably wandered off by now, huh? I saw copper. Mm-hmm. I hear the sheep. I hear it. I need... There's a bunch of sheep right over there where I was. Oh, come on. All right, we'll just get these guys for our bed. But yeah, large biome world, it's going to pre uh, present some challenges. The challenges are, how are we going to find certain things? Let me tell you this, 
straight off, I did a little bit of research. I haven't, I want to explore this seed kind of myself. Hello, sheep. I wish I had iron, but I need, oh, it's going to win. The sheep's going to win. There we go. One. I'm ready for bed now. Soon. Two. Yes, and some mutton as well. Three. We're in business, baby. Okay, good. Let's now traverse way back up this cliff. This is all part of the new the new generation that we have. It's it's a lot harder to get around. But yeah, uh, I'm excited. The desert uh, in this world, I tested some seeds because a large biome, and if you do a large biome world with me as well, uh, you're going to find that uh, some seeds, you, you won't have a desert. You won't have a desert for miles and miles and miles. I mean, I'm talking tens to 20,000 blocks away. Uh, this one, everything is quite a long travel, but uh, it's close. It's close enough to where it'll feel fun. We're going on a journey to go get something, and we're going to go on a journey today because there are some essential materials that we need. We have to have dark oak wood. It's essential. Got to have it. And we have to have uh, spruce. So if you see any spruce trees, let me know. But that's going to be a fun part of this world, I think. In this series, I like to have different kingdoms. The different kingdoms, they're just a fun lore way to make the builds uh, be forced into with some limitations. And the, so if you pick a kingdom and you make them all the same, that's a little boring. But if we have a desert place, let's limit our desert resources to the desert area. You know, the sandstone and all that stuff, acacia trees and uh, dead bushes and all. All those sorts of things. Let's limit those to the desert area. Uh, so we'll have different kingdoms and they'll be styled in different ways. It forces us to go outside of our comfort zone a little bit and try some different uh, build styles. And that's something that I really want to do in this series. Now, while things are cooking over here, let's get ourselves a bed. Oh, yes. And let's find a spot to set up. Let's find a nice little location to kind of call home. The sun is setting, so actually this is wonderful timing. Not a bad start for old Beatles. We got mutton and, uh, I mean, did, how much do you think the bonus chest helped? I'm going to say it hopefully not. Hello. I just I just did something to your cousins, but don't, don't tell anybody else, okay? Like I said, I did minor, minimal exploring on this seed, but... The main thing I wanted was in the spawn area, I wanted a pretty big, uh, large area for, ooh, look at all those chickens, wonderful. A large area of plains. And I found a spot that I think is pretty cool to kind of start out at. Uh, but let's see if we can find that. I, I don't know if you can hear this, but my dog is barking like crazy in the background. She's obsessed with squirrels right now. And, uh... <laughs> Squirrels visit the house often. Uh, yeah, I think this is it. So it's kind of, there's a new thing. I don't know if this is always in the game. Oh, we got to go up one of these. Maybe we, this looks smoother. Let's try to go over here. Uh, there's a new thing. I think it's new. The meadows biome? Is that new? <laughs> uh, but it looks like the meadows are kind of like uh, some flowery plains, maybe with some uh, mountains. I'm not exactly sure. But this area has kind of got a nice mix of that. So I think it's going to be cool. Aha! Yes! This is it. Okay. A little bit of... This is only... Okay. I did the loot chest. All right. Don't... Don't judge me. I got a new haircut, by the way. This is my old skin. New face. New haircut. But anyway. Uh, I, I, I just did the loot box. The loot, the, the loot box. And then I found this village. And this area. That's it. But this in this area, I mean, this is it. This is where it's at. I love this place. I, I I can see 10 years down the road right now. This this is what I'm talking about with the large biome. Let me get up there. Ah, This is what I'm talking about with the large biomes. Okay? As far as you can see, it is the biome that you choose. <laughs> it's a plains biome. And I like that. It feels more realistic to me. 
Uh, so that's something I'm very excited for. These journeys to other areas and stuff, it's going to be really, really fun. But this planes is huge. It's very big. And it's got everything that a potential future kingdom needs. All of this area can be filled with buildings and houses and areas for us to improve and learn in building all throughout this area, roads and stuff. It's got a nice high peak area for a potential castle or mansion or something. And uh, it also opens up way, way down here. I think we're going to have to get a horse soon. We're going to have, hopefully there's a leather worker up there because I need a saddle badly to traverse this terrain. What do we have here? Ooh, okay. Big ravine type thing or carve out. Oh, yeah. That's big. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, that's huge. That goes way down. Yeah. So that's down to zero right there. Ooh, abandoned mine shaft as well. Okay. As you can see, okay. I didn't explore any of that stuff. I didn't like deep dive. Uh, but <laughs> still traveling this way, uh, trust me, right over there, it opens into a, a very large river. Rivers have gotten bigger, and I don't know. Yeah, there's water over there, and uh, yeah, it's pretty It's pretty nice for a city. So to fill this whole place out over the next 10 years, I think is going to be awesome. Horses galore. That's the other great thing about these large biomes. You get a huge... Uh, a huge uh, plains biome. You get tons of horses in there. I love horsey. So this could be awesome. Yeah, so it opens up to this river. So this is going to be great for like a port. And then, although this is not a desert, this is a beach. Large biome. Beach is big. Beach is like the size of a desert somewhere. So that's awesome. Basically, I'm delaying the inevitable. And the inevitable is... <laughs> That uh, I have to go caving <clears throat> underground <laughs> with the big with the big caves now, and uh, I need to get resources and stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is wonderful, isn't this nice up here in the daytime with the sunshine? I like this. You know what? Ah, I have other distractions, so I don't have to go caving yet. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Also, this is a really good time to to thank everybody that i know that there are some people uh watching this that have been <laughs> that have watched like all of my building with b-double-o series uh and there are people that support me on patreon and uh this series is is kind of for you guys you know um it's a little more laid back it's a little more personal okay we got a brewing stand that's nice i'm looking for like some kind of goodies. I guess I didn't need to make. Ooh. Oh, this is a stonemason. Actually, that's awesome. That could be great. Oh, yes. Need that. Great. Amazing. Uh, but yeah, I, I appreciate you guys and all, all the support that you, uh, you've given over uh, who knows how long. Ten years almost. Uh, it's... it's uh, I, I think about it all the time, but especially... Aha, a book. Ooh, especially at times like this when uh, we're starting a new series up and stuff, it just it, it just means a lot. Uh, you know what? Let's leave those potatoes in there, and we'll leave that book in there for right now. Uh, we'll just see if there's any other goodies around. But yes, I'm going to see. Can we get any? You know, maybe there's a blacksmith here. I don't know if there is. Oh, hello, kitty. Hi. This looks... Nope, this is another stonemason, isn't it? Oh, blast furnace. That's nice. Uh, Let's take that. Sorry, I take that. Uh, you know what? Actually, ooh. These guys need these to keep their jobs, don't they? Yeah, they do. Shoot. If I want them to keep their jobs and not die... There's a nitwit here. I need to leave all this stuff. Okay, rethinking my strategy. Ooh, okay, that looks like that's going to be our cave entrance. Don't fall down there, buddy. He could fall down there easily. Uh, uh, okay, I'm rethinking, though. I can't. <laughs> There's no farm here, so I can't go caving yet. I need food first. 
So I'm going to kind of use this place to kind of, I could take all these hay bales, but hay bales, eh, maybe that's what I'll do. Just live off bread. But I can't go caving without food first. So I'll get my food situation sorted and then we can do some material collecting <laughs> together in the caves. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, okay. This is valuable. We're going to need this. So part of this uh, large biome situation. Hey, don't go very far. Don't go very far. Why is he just leaving? Don't they, <laughs> don't they hang around all the time? Where are you going? Hold on. I got to get. Well, I don't know if I'll be able to get some emeralds, but that cactus. Cactus is a very long ways away. So all of a sudden, the watery trader becomes valuable and makes sense. I'm going to need him, and I'm going to love him. I'm going to love when the watery trader comes up because uh, I don't want to go. If I need green dye, he just got me set for life if I do that. So, uh, hey, can I? Anything? No, I got. I, I really do have nothing We'll save you. Uh, I have nothing that I can trade. So hopefully he comes back later. <laughs> hopefully. But that's going to be awesome. I, I liked, I like that we got value for the Wandering Trader now. That's going to be really nice. Uh, I'm almost ready. I'm almost ready. I set up just a little bitty mini, mini wheat farm. And I actually have a villager tending to it. So it's a little counterproductive. But we got all of those hay bales. I'm just collecting wood. I probably have enough. Okay. You know what? Stop. Stop dilly dallying. Let's go. Let's go. We're going into a cave now. Huh. I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> Iron. Right there. Okay. Here we go. We're going to go caving now. So uh, hopefully this works out. But the iron's going to be huge. I actually couldn't put any water in my. Uh, oh, man. Oh, there's more iron. Okay. I can make a bucket now. I can put water in my farm. Okay. And this was a great tri caving trip. We're done. I'm done now. I'll never cave again. We get, we have to go down there. Okay. All right. I'm going to put water on my farm and uh, maybe come back. Maybe. Maybe come back to caving. I did not make a bucket. I smelted the iron. But uh, I did not make a bucket because... And this is why. I'll tell you right now. Because armor. I need armor. Can I make it over there? Yeah, oh, kind of. I kind of made it. Okay, that's good enough. By the way, uh, we are going to be doing building today. We're going to be doing a lot of building today. I want to, I mean, this is building with BOO, isn't it? Uh, I want to set kind of a benchmark in episode one of this is where my building is at now. This is where my building skills are now. And then. Whole, that house will stand forever. We'll keep that house up forever. And we'll just see. We'll see how we improve. We can always use that to look back at and say, okay, yeah, we've we've gotten better. Or, you know, usually the way I kind of look back on my stuff is I say, oh, look at what look at how gross that was. Boy, I was an idiot. I shouldn't <laughs> I shouldn't look like that at, at things like that anymore. Um, but yeah. That's kind of how we'll we'll treat things. Uh, we'll we'll set this benchmark today. But before we do that, I need I need things. So let's get ourselves sorted a little bit. All right, I feel great now. I feel a lot better. Uh, the food situation is it's a little annoying because with bread you're eating all the time. But it's okay. Next thing I need uh, priority. Ooh, actually, okay. This is the toughest recipe in the game. Can we remember it? Is it like this? Aha! Yes! Shield. Okay. So although we don't have arrows to fight at long range, we can at least repel the arrows. Okay, that's it. Right. Right off the bat. Yeah. Uh-huh. I will slay you. Okay, my thing's running out of durability. We, we just ran over. Okay. Uh-huh. And yes, I've done something. Okay, what's down here, though? How are we? Are we safe? All right. We start lighting. A great thing. Here's a great thing. Light level zero. Oh, yeah. We're down here. We're down here. Hey. Okay. Ho! Oh, I should have just let that happen. Okay. Okay. All right. Ouch. Are we going to die? 
Okay. Oh no! No! I gotta eat! I gotta eat by this spider? Oh, don't! No! Please! I hate cave! I hate caving! Stay out of the caves. It's a worse, it's a worse place on earth. I hate it! Oh man! Okay, it should be easy to get back everybody back in your homes, okay? It is bad. Bad out there. Goodness sakes! <laughs> Alright, run and jump. Yes? We're going back down. We're gonna get our stuff quick. And we got full health now, buddy. That's right. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take that skeleton out. We're gonna get revenge. Death on the first episode. Don't. 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 Okay? Okay. Where's my sword? Okay, I got my hat. I got that. Okay? Put that on. Yes? Get this on. Yes! There's three! Yes! And... Oh, yes! Sweep! Okay. Okay. Where's my shield? Yes! I'm doing great down here. Did you see that? That was wonderful. Okay, shield back on. There we go! <laughs> Man! I can't with this place! Did it blow up more stuff? It probably blew up more stuff. Do not go down in the caves. Man! I like relaxing. I'm not much of like a, like a, I don't like, I don't like getting all nervous and scared. I'm a relaxed guy. When I was a little kid, I used to just, you know, get, oh, here's another creeper. I used to get dominoes and Legos and just play, play for a long time and relax and have fun. It was nice. You don't. Okay. Oh, this is the worst from all angles now. Did I lose anything valuable? Hopefully not. I mean, this is kind of safe over here. Guys, I gotta leave. I feel like I gotta leave. All right, we got a creeper and a skeleton. Let's get a record. Let's show. Okay. All right. Did that do any damage to you? Okay. Okay. Hello. All right, this, this little plateau here, this is where it's all going down, huh? Okay. Uh. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're not blowing. Oh. Oh, I did another cheat. Um. Okay. I turned mob griefing off because I didn't want Enderman taking stuff. I got to fix that. You're in the sun. Why aren't you burning? And crit. Expertly done. All you have to do is calm down. All right. <sighs> We're in business now. Uh, food. My building may have been proved, but my, my PVP, <laughs> or not PVP, but my PVE has not improved. That's about the same, maybe worse than it ever was. Okay. Light level zero is the only thing they can spawn on. So a little more light like this, uh, can help. Just a few torches, random. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe they'll fight. Okay. <laughs> it's the worst. Okay, diorite, wonderful. Andesite, gonna need that. And it's looking like it's nighttime outside, which is not good news for our villagers, but actually probably good news for us because it's going to make mobs spawn up top and not down here, which is wonderful. Uh, we've <laughs> we've kind of got this area a little bit more lit up and safer, which is wonderful. And it was easy. It was simple. Okay, so I've lit up most of this cave. <laughs> and I didn't die. But I'm finding there's not much iron. This, this cave goes off this way quite a ways. And on the level that I'm at, which is I'm on level 62... Which is about, isn't that what the, like, the sea level is? Not much. Ooh, okay, there's magma blocks there. That's good to know. Yeah, there's not much iron. <laughs> and and even the way iron spawns, you know, I'm used to it spawning in a certain way. So where when you find iron, ooh, there's some. <laughs> uh, when you find iron, there's usually four to eight, sometimes nine. There's not. There's one. Like that. 
I hear a skeleton. It's okay. It's okay. We're we're doing okay. Do I have? I just have my regular armor on. Uh, I want to. I was gonna make a pickaxe with. Oh, there's I. Nope. That's copper. So much copper on this level. It's insane. So much copper. So I'm thinking iron is deeper. We got to go deeper. And I don't want to. <laughs> I really don't want to. Uh, but if we have to, we have to. All right. We're going down here now. And oh, we're going <laughs> to. I found iron immediately. And, and I expertly came down here quickly for that reason. Because I was excited. And there's iron there. Before we start collecting <laughs> any resources, where? Where? Who shoot? No. This is the worst. This is the worst. There's a creeper. There's a creeper. He didn't see me. Does he see me? He doesn't see me. Okay. All right. We're okay. We're going to be okay. All right. You? You stay right in there. Yeah. I got it. My tickly toes. Tickly toes. Good. Oh, there's iron. So this has got to be the level then for iron. Okay, this is one of those noodle caves. It's just a, like a tight sidewinder. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I haven't caved. Guys, I have not caved in forever. I haven't had like this, you know, on Hermitcraft. There's there's the the all the other people just giving you resources, and you're like, well, what am I going to have to cave for? And then you just make a little mine shaft, and you're good. Which I will be doing shortly, I'm sure. <laughs> mine shaft sounds really good right about now. Um, oh, my. Okay, there's some iron there. So we're going to be able to make some good things. Oh, what? Wait. Oh, you? Oh, we're in one of those places. Okay. All right, I see you with a sword coming over here. I see that. But let's get a full suit of armor. I usually don't rock a full suit of armor. Uh, and let's also get a pick. Yes, and a sword. Now we're in business. Now we're living the good life. That's not how you make a sword. There you go, and boom. Yes, all right. Now we're living. I love it. Okay, uh, so... <laughs> I don't know. I got I got things to stay alive. <sighs> we'll go a little deeper. We'll go a little deeper down to like diamond level. <laughs> okay, I see the dark. I see the darkness. Gold. I can make a... Can I make a clock? Is there four? Yes. I can make a clock. I don't have redstone. I need redstone. Oh, baby. Okay. I just saw something. We're in business. Redstone. We can make a clock. This is amazing. Okay, but let's light this up a little bit first. Who hit? No. Yep. Fine. Fine by me. Fine by me. <laughs> Fine by me. Why is he still chasing me? And a creeper too. Okay. This is good. Do it. Yes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you get iron on your first night in Minecraft. We came away with a full set, two tools, and 23 raw iron. Not bad. Now you can see, uh, do these guys, let's do a little test. Let's see. Do you take raw iron to heal or just smelt it? Yeah. These guys have been through it. Uh, this one looks okay. Ooh, our wheat is growing. And that villager's still alive. He looks stuck. But I don't see... Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, this is a flaw. In Minecraft, to me, the villagers, I love them. They add life. They add something that the game sorely misses, but they die too easy. And the villagers and the, the golems don't really protect them all that well. So a few of them still survived. That's good. It'd be nice to just let them roam free, but I don't think they're going to live very long. So now... <laughs> Uh, we've got, we've got some materials and we're good enough to kind of set off. We've got a decent amount of food as well. Now I want to set off. I need to get some materials. So to set off on this adventure, I need to collect some things. But first, let's make the ever valuable, whoops, <laughs> clock. Yes, now we're in business. Now let's also 
take this cauldron and make a leather worker, okay? One of these people needs to be a leather worker. I, I think that's, that's going to give us the potential to get a saddle. Love that. That's your job. You love this job now. Come here. Going in this house looks like, huh? Up you go. Perfect. Wonderful. Now, receive this job. Ah, wait. Nope. You did not. Take the job. Take the job. Nah. Don't sleep in my bed. Get out of there. All right, sir. I've got your leather right here. Step right up, me, and huh, get an emerald. Okay. Oh, man, that's not going to unlock anything, is it? Okay. Yeah. So before I go on the trip, I need a saddle. That means I've got quite a grind in front of me. I need a lot of wheat. I need a lot of leather. There's probably other guys. I could probably... What is that water sound? Who's making water? You? You dipping in the cauldron? That's adorable. Uh, yeah. I got quite a grind to do. So we'll go traveling. We have to. But before we do that, uh, I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to have some fun. Just lock in and do some grinding for a little bit. Well, progress is slow with this guy. Slow, but it's led us down a pretty fun path. So, and this... <laughs> Somebody doesn't like the fact that they're trapped in there, I think. Don't do it. Don't jump. I've got, so I have been trying to find other ways to get emeralds. Just some other, just casual ways. I know there's grind ways, but I thought, aha, maybe I mess with a librarian. And lo and behold, <laughs> a mending trade in there. And that's not great. We can probably get that better, but... I, I want to lock it in. So although I need emeralds uh, like crazy, those nine emeralds would have probably made, made us get to the next level with that guy. Uh, I need to lock in that mending trade. So one trade with him equals a lock-in. And I think that he'll have that mending trade forever. As long as he lives, maybe skeletons could shoot in there. But I'm a diligent sleeper, so we shouldn't have a problem. Don't do it. Don't jump. I'm just going, I've been out, I've been exploring, I found some shipwrecks, and I found some other really cool things out there in the world, some buried treasure and whatnot, so I've got some goodies, uh, and it's just been fun, oh, I, this is a great day, it, I'm, I'm loving this, uh, we've got a little bit of a cow farm over here, where, oh, I've set up my little timer, so when this gate opens, if you saw it in a Hermitcraft episode, this is really good for starters when you're wanting to breed as efficiently as possible. As soon as this gate opens, they're ready to breed again. So I can breed them ASAP uh, and get as many cows in there as possible. Because I need a lot of leather for this leather worker. And I'm assuming he's probably going to want some leather clothing soon. So lots of cows is going to be very beneficial. So yeah, I might... We're going, we're going to the, to, on, on a mission. We're going out into the world today, but I might do some digging, some mining underground, <laughs> not caving my safe kind of mining, maybe dig in here and go down potentially. We'll see. All right. It's next day. IRL. I just woke up. Hi. I got, I, I've been, I've been getting emeralds off of these guys. I got, I got emeralds, but I I need them now. I got 20 and we might be able to get something great. Hey, don't go, don't go, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Oh, I'm sorry, I hit you. Oh, wait, he's got jungle saplings. I need those. I'll take them. Oh, why did I do all that many? I should have got the moss. Uh, can I, oh, I'm not taking any damage. Can I get the moss? I'm sorry I hit you. I'll take the moss. Yes. And that's enough. Oh, okay. I guess I, it was good I got those jungle saplings. Guys, I don't know where a jungle is. This is amazing. Oh, I, I, oh. For all my build planning and stuff, I wasn't including jungle trees or jungle wood or anything. In any of the plans, because 
I didn't, I, I, I wasn't expecting to have jungle anytime soon. But sure enough, we've got it. Oh, that's amazing. Hello? Zombie? We, we, we've got the jungle. Oh, I'm so happy. And moss as well. Where was I going to find moss? Oh, that's amazing. They're still trying to spit at me? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Um, this is great. This is great. I'm just going to plant these like this, and hopefully we get a profit on saplings. All right. It's time to set off on our adventure. We've got... Uh, I've actually got two villager traders here. There was one... Is he up there? No. There he is. You can kind of see him. He's over there. Oh my goodness. So I got I got those jungle saplings. I got this guy does acacia and he also does dark oak. But that's for one. And if you know dark oak saplings, you need four. That's 20 emeralds. I would spend it. But I, because I mean, dark oak is essential. You guys know that it's essential to have dark oak. But uh, we're, I have a different plan. Okay. Saddle time. The saddle was the mission. Let's cook some food real quick for our trip. Cook. Very good. We have unlocked the saddle. Six. Hey. Everything used to be cheaper. Six. Oh, this is highway robbery. Okay, well, I have six. I have six, but I'm going to have to get more uh, for something else. So, let's get our saddle. Oh, yes. We may ride horse. And guys, there's so many horses. There's horses there. There's horses there. There's donkeys, which donkey might not be a bad idea. I don't have shulker boxes. So, you know, inventory's a little light. There's white horses, gray horses, there's so many horses. Hey, don't do it. Here's what we're going to do. I found a great solution. Okay, let's, uh, I got to do one quick trade. 20 wheat, one emerald. Very good. I have plans. We'll, we'll do something with these villagers uh, to get this being, to be a little more efficient than it is right now. Because it's not very efficient. But check this out. Cartographer. Okay. <laughs> He's got an ocean explorer map, which is fantastic. But, oh, he raised the price! It was nine a second ago. Ah, the economy in this place is a mess. I'll tell you what. Woodland explorer map. Woodland explorer map. Now, I think this will lead me. I could be wrong. Uh, part of the way I like to play this game... <laughs> okay, I'm way up here. Part of the way I like to play this game is I like to... who this is... okay. I did find a treasure map before out in the ocean. And I kind of know the directions. So this way, this is saying that we're this way. We go this way and I think that's it. I think that's right. We're going to go this way to reach this. Woodland Explorer map. So there are the mansions, woodland mansions that are in dark oak forests. So we want dark oak wood and we want a lot of it, but a woodland mansion on top of that would be kind of cool. I don't know if we would explore it immediately, but it would at least be, you know, an option uh, in, in something we could tackle at some point. Let's see. You guys are cool. We're going to need a fast horse. This is good speed. This is a pretty good speed. Let's see. Do I have... I don't have the thing, the mod with the uh, that tells the speed. But, boy, this is good. This feels like 11 blocks per second. Possibly. We'll measure it at some point. Let's check a couple more horses, and we can just kind of do some comparisons. Okay, I have a bit of a theory here. And the theory is... You can tell how fast a horse is going to be before it's tamed. So if you listen, you can't hear it right now. It's, of course, when I'm recording. Oh, okay. This this probably medium speed. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So when you're taming a horse, you hear a clip-clop. Let's, let's listen. 
There it is. Oh, that's pretty fast. Da, 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 da. That's pretty fast. If my theory is correct, this might this might be a kind of fast horse. We'll see. It's pretty fast. It's pretty fast. The, it was a fairly fast clip clop, and it is a kind of fast horse. Super slow clip clop. So this should be a very slow horse, and it is, and it is. Aha! <gasps> uh -huh. Have I found a clip clop thing? Okay, that could be a good key. When you're taming, it's like, why waste the time taming the rest of this horse when uh, when it's already, I can tell it's slow. There's some more horse down here. I've got to do more testing. Oh, very fast clip clop. I think it's the fastest horse that I have. I think uh, that I've tamed so far. Okay, I think the fastest horse here had the fastest clip clop. Oh, and he zooms. He zooms pretty fast. I like it. Okay. Uh, let's, before we head out, this might be our horse. Right here. And I love this horse. I haven't named it yet, but I will. This has been a an amazing experience. Starting this world all over again. Uh, having the large biomes... It makes these wandering traders so exciting when they come in. People, they dislike these guys. I got this from a boat, from a sunken treasure boat. Uh, where'd you go? Hey, don't leave. Have this on. Oh, you look amazing. Wonderful. Okay. I think I need to dump some stuff off before we leave. All right, sweet village. It's goodbye for now. I'm headed off on a wonderful journey to find out where the dark oak forest is. Watch, it's just over this ridge. <laughs> it's just right over here. No, uh, hopefully, hopefully it's close. Uh, but knowing how these biomes are, I got a feeling it's pretty far. So I'm going to be kind of watching this map a little bit. This is actually, I'm sure, going to be difficult. Uh, this, this terrain, it's great. It's updated. It's new. But it is uh, hard to traverse there, these rivers. The whole land, in this area at least, is raised up quite a bit. Like, we are on level 96 right now. So we're way up there. And, uh, ooh, ooh, horse blocking the way. That's beautiful. Look at that cave down there. Oh, what a fun place we got. Look at the size of that birch tree out of nowhere. I love it. So we're going to keep our eye out for a couple things. Dark oak wood. All right. We're going to see how how do we move on this map? Like when, at what point do, does this dot right here start moving down on the map? That's going to be important because uh, then we're going to know if we need to go this way or this way. Ooh, pumpkins. Okay. All right. Very nice. We need those as well. That's very valuable. So... Yeah, we're going to get pumpkins. We're going to look for just some random things that we're not going to have very readily at our disposal at our disposal in our area. You know what? As a matter of fact, these are so close. I don't I don't need to clog my inventory with those just yet cuz I got a feeling I'm going to have inventory trouble. We're not really making a dent on the map. I'm going to keep traveling this way. Hopefully this is the right way. Hello, gorgeous. Oh, these are beautiful dark. Okay. You remember Another village as well. Okay, I've got a lot of exploring to do. I want spruce trees. I'd love to find some spruce trees, uh, but we've got quite a trek ahead of us. Call me crazy, but I think that dot's getting bigger. Is that getting bigger? <laughs> it seems like it's getting bigger to me. I, I, I'm just traveling in this one direction, and uh, I, I think we're. It's. I think we're making progress. I think. I've had a couple close close calls already. And this horse, I've found uh, not a very good jumper. Not uh, not able to jump two blocks. Yeah, best jump can't get up on this. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I mean, if the horse, you know, doesn't make it. Uh, oh, there we go. Can you make that? Okay, that's cool. Ooh, look at that pretty birch. 
I think that's like the old, old Birchy Birch Birch place. What is it called? Old Birch, Old Birch place. I also made a boat. There are some people out there, <clears throat> Etho, <clears throat> that uh, would be very furious if I didn't bring a boat with me. So I have done that. And I'm very glad I did because getting across these rivers and stuff would be impossible without it. So tip of the hat. Okay, we're actually, we're moving on the map. We're moving. See, we're not in the corner anymore. We're over here. So I think maybe we gotta, we have to go this way. Um, is it this way or the other way? Oh boy. Oh, oh, ah, uh ah. -huh, uh. Okay, how did I miss this? Okay, okay. <laughs> hey, we're here. We're here. Uh, so apparently, oh, and spruce as well. Oh, what a view. Oh, I love it. Oh, yes, we have arrived. Spru everything we need right here. Oh, I'm so happy. Apparently, <clears throat> it is not. Uh, I went the other way. The map is upside down. <laughs> so south is up on this map. And uh, yeah, so went the wrong way for a long, long way. And now we're here. Now, if I remember correctly, and I think I do, the, the, the Woodland Mansions, they don't have a whole lot to offer as far as reward. Like, there's some bad fights. Like, I think there's Vexes in there. Okay, it's over this way. We might be able to see it from on top of this hill. Ow, ow. Oh, I can see it. There it is. There it is. Okay. So... I don't think this is going to be a priority for us today. I want to see it. I want to know where it is. We're way out here. That's a lot of materials. I see a lot of bookshelves right there. Okay. We're going to do a quick smash and grab. All right. Let the burglar music start. Uh-huh. We're going in. It looks safe. Oh, yes. I mean, obviously, I don't have Silk Touch, so this, these won't be bookshelves. These will be books, but still saves a lot of leather and a lot of reeds. This is very good, okay? At the first sign of any danger, we're leaving. Put shield on. Very good. All right, we're in. I heard it. I heard it already. Yeah. There's bad stuff here. And more bookshelves. Okay. I don't want to mess around too much. I, I really don't. Oh, those are nice banners. I hear you. No. Ah! More bookshelves. It's dark in here. Maybe just one more room. And then we we out of here. Ah! What? Okay. That's it. That's it. I saw. I saw him. I saw what I needed to see. And now I'm out of here. Goodbye forever. Sorry about the window. I'm leaving. Not right now. I'm just got iron tools. I don't have the good stuff yet. I don't have diamonds and a good bow and all that. I, you know, leave leave it at just a little broken window. No pillar walls or anything like that. Okay. Oh, yes. Fantastic. All right. I'm going to get some mushrooms. Okay. Woo. Any mushroom drop? Yes. Some mushrooms. This would be wonderful. Get some red and some brown. And now... We have to get Silk Touch. We're almost to the building part. I think we're gonna go feature length film <laughs> length for this video. It looks like that's where we're headed. Oh no, oh, that's okay. I have plenty of things. Very good. All right, my inventory is not nearly as clogged and I got two saddles from a village as well. It's not nearly as clogged as I thought it was gonna be. This is more pleasant than, uh, than I anticipated. I'm a very happy boy. But yeah, uh, I'm not, you know, I just want to get some building in today. I'm not going super far into the game as far as progression and stuff, but a man's got to build, right? We got to get our starter house. I said I wanted to set a benchmark for this is where I was on episode one of building with B-double-O season three. So got to do some work to get the materials to make that build. Oh yes, we're home. There it is. I was just looking for that village and we've arrived. 
And I went primarily, I only F3'd like once to kind of get my bearings of where I was at. For the most part, wait, is this? Yeah, this is our place. Yeah, 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 yeah. For the most part, uh, oh, you're still here. Guess what? I went to your land and I already got the saplings free of charge. Yes. Uh, that was incredible. I loved that so much. <laughs> Maybe more than I should have. Uh, sorry. Was that a little tight? That's okay. You'll be fine. That was unbelievable. Okay. So now we have spruce. I did swing by. I don't know if I recorded that or not. And got some spruce off of one of those peaks. I've got these saplings here. Uh, I think the best way to reproduce and get more saplings is single spruce trees. Not the two by two. Um, I think we're in business now. I just got to farm materials and I have to get a silk touch book. Now I have a villager here, a librarian with mending. I think we saw that earlier. He has mending. That's great. But, uh, and that'll be great for long term down the road, but I need somebody that's, that has silk touch. Hello, you, sir. Yes. Uh, he has power to blast protection. And protection four, protection four is fantastic for fourteen diamonds. That's not bad. I think we're gonna have to either get an enchanting table or try a new villager. Try to get a new villager. I I, I don't know exactly the best route that I want to go here, but I need silk touch for mushroom stems. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's essential. We gotta be it's patience. That's the one thing that I've learned about uh, building. And what makes it, uh, what makes my builds today better than the builds that I made 10 years ago? Patience. You know, I think when I learned, well, you know what? Actually, I'll get into this more later. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I think that uh, if we're a little more patient with things, we can end up with a really good result. So I'm going to take my time, get things rolling, and then we'll do some building. Got some. Got the diamonds. This is my mine shaft. I'm not going to go way down because mine shafts are boring. But boy, oh boy, <laughs> they go deep. So there's that level there, but then it goes down twice as far down to like level. What did I did? Negative 153, I think. Or no, negative 53. So 53 under zero is where I was at. But I got enough diamonds. I got the obsidian. I got the enchanting table. We've got these wonderful bookshelves. Thanks to that mansion we were at. And now it's time. We can do level 30. And I've got a lot of levels. I have 42 levels. We're going to start here. And we're going to hope it says silk touch on it. It doesn't say silk touch. But that's okay. We're going to go pickaxe. Okay. Let's check the book real quick. Does the book say... Anything. I forgot lapis. Sharpness. No. We're just going to go pickaxe. We're going to go level. Okay, 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 okay. Sharp. Okay, okay. Well, good news. Okay? I have a lot of levels, so I can try this a lot. Let's check the book real quick. Protection. No, thank you. Let's just go with the axe. Let's throw this on. Give me silk touch. It's a great axe. It's a great axe. So, uh, it's a great axe, but I need silk touch and like a silk touch shovel. I need mushroom stems. That's the main goal here. So <laughs> it's a great axe. <laughs> Is everybody mad? Haha! -ha! I did. And now you saw my genius. Yes. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. We got the silk touch axe. Depth Strider, that's nice. Oh, yes. Okay. You know what? Hey, everything's coming up. B-dubs right now. Let's do the axe again. Or the pickaxe. I'm breaking, okay? With efficiency? <laughs> ah, the perfect work axe. Pickaxe. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> that worked out so perfectly. I can't believe it. But anyway... We're going to use this. Let's see if I can uh, make this happen real quick here. 
Now, I might want this taller so we can get taller stems. But there we go. That went right up to it. So maybe I'll make it a little bit taller. But here we go. Mushroom stems. Not easy. Not easy. Uh, that's a couple bone meal right there. Uh, but the brown's great. The brown is awesome. Uh, I'm finding, and you'll see a little later, mushrooms are awesome. I love, I love the mushroom blocks. I'm loving them more and more. Their functionality, there's some really cool things we can create with them. So, this is going to be important. I wonder if there's, no, you can't, well, maybe we could set up some sort of automation for it at some point. Make it a little easier. I'll make that taller. But I gotta get a bunch of stems. And then I think we start building. And again, it is the next day, IRL, for B-dubs, early in the morning. And I'm ready to get going. So I've, I have some materials ready. I have the build planned. But now I want to talk about, well, maybe not right away, but uh, as I do this... I want to talk a little bit more. I got some donkeys tamed, by the way, and I filled them up with materials. I don't have shulker boxes, so we have to get a little bit creative with what we do here. So let me grab the saddle off of you, and let's find a spot, shall we? Saddle on, and then let's see how well this works. <laughs> Probably not great, but we'll see. As I travel around here... We will, I'll talk a little bit about my process for when uh, I'm coming up with a build. It's, you know, as you go, you kind of learn some hacks. <laughs> uh, you, you think initially when you first start out that you should just be good and you should just have natural talent and natural imagination and stuff like that. Uh, but that's not the case. I, I've realized over 10 years that... Uh, you usually have to find inspiration and stuff from references. And those references have also found inspiration from references. <laughs> so uh, it just turns into this big kind of community of, of art and stuff like that. Basically, uh, I, I, I do research and I look at references for what I'm trying to build. And I'll go on Google. Let's say I want to build a blacksmith. Now go on Google and I'll look at blacksmith building and then maybe uh, some look at some images from the era that I'm wanting to build from. And mo most of the time I build uh, in like medieval time. But anyway, uh, this build that I'm going to build today, I actually have started looking on ArtStation, which is a great resource for uh, helping find some inspiration. Usually I'll take like uh, several ideas of buildings and kind of mash them all together. This one, it was too good. <laughs> it was too good, too beautiful. And I was like, you know what? I think I can create that in Minecraft. So this is a build from Roman Pev Pevlenia, I believe, uh, he, that he put up on ArtStation. And I thought, you know what? A lot of that stuff could translate in a really cool, creative way in Minecraft. So... Uh, I kind of went through and there's a lot of images and kind of studied that and thought, okay, now the hard part is, how do I translate this to Minecraft? And uh, it, it, it's, it's a little bit difficult, but then I just kind of take wool and just kind of block things out. Just block out the, the rectangles and the big major shapes. And after I get like a size and a scale that I like, then I start coloring it. I start coloring it with the, some blocks and I put in certain blocks in certain areas and uh, kind of start, start thinking about values and stuff like that where I want light areas and where I want dark areas. But then it goes in several stages. It goes, you know, I start putting in some colors and think, okay, maybe cobblestone will be good here. Maybe dirt will be good for the roof. Who knows? You know, just try to be creative with the colors and stuff like that. By the way, I think this is going to be our location. Our town is right over this hill over here so it's still kind of loaded i think but i want to be a little bit away uh from from the main area so i think this is kind of where i'll be but basically once i get the build together and creative uh then i uh do some things to help 
when, once I get it to where, okay, I've got all the details in and stuff like that, I, I use some tools to help me get it over into survival mode. So there's this great tool called Lightmatica, and I don't want to bring it up right now. I don't want to bring the schematic up right now because it'll kind of spoil the build. Uh, but maybe we'll see a little bit about how it works in a, in a little bit here. But basically, it puts like a schematic together for you uh, of the build. You can you can copy that build and then bring it into your world, and it shows you where the blocks go. I don't do this for every single build, but on builds where it's kind of important. Like it's important that these blocks be in this space and whatnot. Uh, instead of, I used to just take like tons of screenshots and put like dots of wool to know how tall things are and stuff like that. Uh, I don't do that anymore. Lightmatica kind of helps with that where it puts a schematic in a little ghost image and you can see, okay, so cobblestone's supposed to be here. Stone's supposed to be here, blah, 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 blah. Shows you how wide things should be. It really helps with kind of transferring a build from creative to survival. The reason why I build in creative first, and this is something that, I mean, I, I'm sure you guys know this, uh, but the reason why I build in creative mode first is because uh, it, you have unlimited ability to be able to look, step back and look from a distance. Looking at your build from a distance uh, is very, very important. That's one of the biggest things for me is when I can go way back instead of like crossing this river or, you know, with, with Elytra, it becomes easier a little bit, but you can kind of check your angle and artists do this all the time where they step way back from their painting or their drawing and they look at it from a distance to make sure that everything's looking right. You can't do that very well in survival. In creative, you can. And in creative, you have the full creative menu where you can look through and be like, okay, oh, I didn't think to use mushroom, which we're going to use today. Uh, but that's kind of the process. So I build it all out in creative and then bring it into survival. And it's a lot easier. Yes, you're building twice, but it's easier as long as you have all the materials. You still need all the materials. It's not creative mode here. But you know where everything goes, so it's much easier. Um, so that's a, that's kind of my build process. Hopefully that's a little tip. Lightmatica. Look it up on YouTube. Super easy tutorial out there to help you use it. You can figure it out pretty quick, I'm sure. Um, but it's very, very beneficial. Anyway, I'm going to start on uh, the foundation here a little bit for this build. And I'll probably have to bring some more materials. And then maybe we can get a look at uh, Lightmatica how it's used uh you, you can use it in some ways to i mean you could literally just paste it in creative mode um i don't that's that takes the fun out of it for me i like the accomplishment of you know getting all the resources and stuff like that so that's what we're going to do um we'll get a little look at that and i'll talk to you maybe a little bit about uh, some of the art stuff that i did uh on my break in january all right, for scale, that's that's kind of where we're building right there. And uh, while I talk about this, I'll, we'll kind of travel back to the town. I don't want to be right in the town where I work, you know. Got to have a nice little cozy, relaxing place away from the city with, for my house. But anyway, uh, so over, over my break, I took a little break in January, and I kind of focused on uh, learning how to draw and just, just trying to learn, you know, some more art stuff. Because that's I, I love that stuff. I learn how to draw or paint or something like that. And uh, I found some really good. There's a there's a guy on YouTube and he's been posting since like 2008. Sycra Sycra S S Y C R A, uh, and uh, amazing amazing like long form tutorials. One of the things that he said that I thought was very 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 helpful and I, it helped me. And I think it could help you guys a lot with building is he said that uh, there are two types of brains there. Well, you know what? Actually, I need I need to ride you over to the gravel place um, there. There's analytical and more creative minds. And, and of course, there's mixes, you know, and stuff like that. But um, the. A, a good way, like an analytical play people, uh, more, more so look at art in, in uh, an analytical way. They kind of, you know, um, 
kind of try to break it down and problem solve, whereas creative people kind of do more so like the, you know what, we're going to ride the horse. I needed that gravel. We're going to ride the horse, and then we're going to pull the donkey. Let's see how that works out. Probably not great. Um, creative people are more so they get their, their feet on the ground and they just start going. It may be a little more naturally talented. Um, I feel like I'm a little of both. You know, I, I sometimes I don't like doing the work. I just like studying. Uh, but there's other times I like just doing the work. I don't know. It's hard to say. But he said a great practice for people that are either. I mean, you could be either. Oh, I feel like we're going to break this lead. They're either uh, creative or analytical is to bi or draw. This is regarding drawing faces. Yep, we broke it. Man, this is going to be frustrating. I should have got llamas. Uh is to draw, I wanted to draw faces. I wanted to learn how to draw faces. So the study was draw 20 faces all on the same page. Draw one and then analyze it. Look at it. Look back at that first one you drew and think, okay, what if I change this? What if I move the eye position down here a little bit and draw that? And then, and oh, Oh, he'll be okay. He'll be okay. Yes. Draw that again. And and each time you go back, do it 20 times every day. And then look back and see, okay, how how could I make this better? The first one, okay. And then ch change things that may might not even, you know, that you think they look better. But just experiment. What if I change this? What if I change that? And and see what you like. Uh, and, and after doing that for a couple days, huge difference. I had, I had a huge uh, progress change. It. Oh, wait. No, I want the donkey. <laughs> okay, this is confusing. All right, give me, <laughs> give me the lead. All right. Oh, I don't know how to do this. Um, okay, horse. Horse here. There we go. That's good. Horse leaded. And then these guys go in the, in the sand pit, in the dirt pit here. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Um, yeah, after after a, a while, uh, things my the faces that I was drawing were way better. They're not great. I still don't love them, but uh, they were much improved. So you know what? We're gonna leave him out just because it's gonna probably get confusing. Um, yeah, they were way better, and uh, I did that with drawing like the human form and and uh, even painting. But I feel like that's a great practice for anything in life is to build something. Let's say with Minecraft, you want to become a better builder, build something. And then uh, now it's easier in Minecraft because you can kind of just remove and, and, and fix. But we're, we were told not to erase. So maybe build a house, but then go over here and say, okay, maybe I want to try to build it a little wider or a little taller or change the scale up or change some of the colors up. Uh, and then you can look back, do that 20 times. Now, with builds, it's a little more complex and complicated. Uh, but for me, you know, that was a very slow, long process over a, a long period of time. That was, you know, 10 years that I actually did that, but I didn't do it focused. Here's Lightmatica, by the way. Uh, this is this is basically the schematic and it tells you okay there should be some blocks here red means that's the wrong block uh, this purple means there should be air there there shouldn't be no block there and it just kind of shows you okay this is this is how things should look uh, so th it's very very helpful so but anyway yeah I think if you just focus on that if you focus on building you're you're putting the work in, and you're building, but then you're looking at it and analyzing. This this helps both sides of the brain. You're analyzing what could I do better or what could I at least change? And then build it again with that subtle change. Eventually, after a while, uh, it, you progress really quickly because you're, you're, you're putting in the legwork and you're analyzing. I'm not a great teacher, uh, but... Oh, and up in the corner, you can see up in the top right corner, you can see it says dirt. So you can see, you know, if you can't tell, is that coarse dirt or dirt? It tells you what it is, uh, which is kind of helpful. But yeah, 
this is kind of this is kind of the process. I know some people might think this is cheaty, but uh, for me, you know, it, it, I'm building twice here, and uh, it, 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 it I used to just take screenshots. It's basically the same thing, except it's just putting the screenshot in the world for me, which is really nice, really helpful. Okay, so this one's supposed to be oh grass block. It will be eventually, um, but yeah. That's that's kind of I, I I hope I'm explaining that well explaining that process uh, well I think that would be a, a really good way to learn and grow uh, as a builder or or in anything in life is to is to treat it like that is to uh, kind of just practice get the legwork in practice and then look back at what you did and see if. You know, if you like it, is it better this way or, or, or not? Additionally, I also learned patience. And I've, I've been talking about that quite a bit lately. But my goodness, the, the thing that I learned with drawing, you know, I see people draw. You guys watch Minecraft and you see people build. Uh, <laughs> I've been building for 10 years. Uh, I'm, not, I'm no Michael Jordan of building, but I've been building for a long, long time. So when I put a build together in an episode and it looks like it all happened in a flash, it just happened real quick. Nah, nah, it's slow. You watch people draw and you like, man, they draw those lines so quick. Yeah, yeah, they draw them quick, but uh, they've been drawing for a very, very long time. And the way they started was very, very slow. So I've learned to slow down and take my time and think more about what I'm doing. Uh, and that's that's super helpful. When you're building the same thing, when you're building in this game, slow way down. Don't rush it. Don't think that you gotta be able to just throw blocks down and it looks amazing. No, it never, it never looks amazing initially. It takes a lot of time. Like this build that I'm gonna show you today, it took four days for me, four days. To get it to a point to where I was like, yeah, it's good. So just be willing. If you like something enough, you'll put in the time. You'll put in the time and the care uh, f to to make it work. So that's my little uh, art lesson for the today. Now I'm going to dig in and start building as the sun sets off in the distance. So the build's coming along, but there's one thing that I need Pretty desperately, uh, a couple things, actually. Boy, look at all those donkeys. Oh, it's raining. Oh, it rains like crazy. There's some nice horses over there. It rains like crazy now. They changed how often it rains, and um, it's a lot, but that's okay. I'm kind of enjoying it. It adds a little atmosphere, and it usually rains, like, right before bedtime. So it's only on for a few minutes, and then, you know, Vito just going to go to sleep. But anyway... Wandering Trader. <laughs> I don't know. At the start of the episode, I saw a cactus from a Wandering Trader. I saw one, and I need, I need it. I need that back. I don't know if if I had the emeralds then, uh, I'm gonna kick myself. I'm gonna find out in editing in just a little bit. But uh, I need cactus badly for green. Green dye, that's the only way to get it. There's a lot of other ways to get other dyes, but green dye is only through cactus. And cactus, for me, as you know, large biome world, is far away. It's very far away. And on top of that, the other thing I need from the wandering trader is bamboo. So if he shows up and he's got cactus or bamboo uh, for scaffolding is what I need the bamboo for for scaffolding uh that'll be fantastic but i've kind of been he's been showing up a lot but then lately now nothing i haven't seen him in a long long time so uh hopefully hopefully he comes by soon and then maybe you know then maybe i get a few llamas out of the deal all right so i talked earlier about mushrooms and how we're going to use mushroom on this build mushroom stems these are hard to get these are, they're not easy, especially if you need a lot of them, but some cool functionality. First of all, I think it works really well for this. It adds a nice texture and stuff. Looks like plaster or stucco kind of. So that's cool. 
It's just a different block, but here's some great benefit. But one thing about Windows in Minecraft is, uh, you know, we'd love if we could put a frame around the windows. That would add so much detail. I, I think that's whether you know it or not, you want that. You want to have some sort of frame that you could put around your windows or like the inside. And a one by two, which is kind of the most common that I use, it's hard to do. So here's something that I've been doing that helps. Okay, watch this. If we knock these out and knock that out, like that, you get this inside mushroom texture. Now, it's not great, it's not perfect, but it actually works pretty nice. I like it. And then, uh, I'm, there's a little shutter design I wanna show you guys as well, okay? So, if we take some trap doors, let's see, where's my trap doors? There they are. And we go like this. Now, we all know this. That's simple and easy, right? Uh, but let's put some signs on it. This is very nice detail. I love this. Boom. Boom. Okay. Let's go take a look. Let's fall. <laughs> I don't have feather falling or elytra. So I'm being a little more careful. And somebody on YouTube in just uh, messaged me and said that uh, I should be wearing diamond armor after... And by the way, I'm uh, I'm 100 and how many? 127 days in today. <laughs> Ooh, I've been playing a lot, but iron armor, bigger flex. I've got 27 diamonds back at the house. I could make a diamond armor some if I wanted, but you know what's a bigger flex? Rocking. You know what I should do? Leather. Leather. Normally, I just wear boots. Once I get some nice protection boots, uh, that's probably all I wear. That's all you really need. But isn't that a cool shutter detail? And then once we get the glass in here, which I'm going to use light gray glass, I'm finding that that's the best. It, you can still see the darkness of the inside, and then the the line, which is like the grid of the window, it kind of shines a little bit. So it works well. So that's what we're doing for the windows, and that's kind of why I'm using Mushroom here, because it has a little bit more functionality where it can add just this little different color on the inside of the windows to act as a bit of a trim. Uh, is there anything else on this build that I want to talk to you about? I don't think so. I mean, here I'm going to use stairs. So like this is trimming out this window a little bit, you know, um, a smaller window. But anyway, those are just some techniques I'm using. Now I back to build. Well, I waited around at the village. <laughs> Just, just one last try to see if the wandering trader would show up to give me some cactus for green dye, and he never showed. That's okay. At this point, it's probably better to just go to the desert. But there it is. Our home. Oh, baby. By the way, fog is important. You want a little fog to show some depth. It looks further away and bigger because of the fog. It's very helpful. So this is stage one, and I think we'll probably do some more to this house. There's some, there's some, oh man. Oh, that scared me. Okay. <laughs> there's some tidying up around the place we're going to have to do. Uh, there's also a huge cave right here as well underwater, but here she is. I love this place. So this is, this is it. This is my marker for where we're at uh, right now with building and I think it came out pretty well. Pretty good representation of that uh, artwork we saw earlier. Obviously we take a lot of uh, creative liberties and scale and, and detail and stuff like that, but I think it came out very, very nice. So now this is the part where building with B-double-O, I'm gonna go in a little more detail and talk about some specific thoughts that I had. You know what? Let's go in spectator mode. Why not? There's mods that literally do this. Well, I'm sure like Doc has used this on Hermitcraft, some other guys, where you can just cam out of your body. It's the same thing. I'm just going to use this to kind of look around the house and tour it a little bit so we can see it. So up top, up there, uh, on the roof, 
I felt like that was, I don't think that was in the artwork. That is an added detail because I really like these pointy things on the edge of roofs. I think it's a gothic style and it looks really, really cool. And I went pretty exaggerated. Like these up here are two walls, a dark oak fence and a chain. So that's, that's four blocks tall. Plus actually on the bottom, there's a log as well. So it's like five blocks tall. So it's pretty big. Additionally, I've noticed this. Okay. They changed dark oak log texture in this update. Did you know that? It's actually darker. It matches this a little better, but that means we lost a color. We lost a color that we used to have, but um, that looks really nice together for a roof. The dark colors in this game all blend. Look at this. Can you tell that, I mean, when we're close up like that, you can tell that one is a little more brown than black, but from a distance, it all looks kind of black, right? So you can get away with some of these little things, mixing brown and black, even though it's not the best visually up close, it works. It looks pretty good. Um, what else? Oh, I put, I put like this little flag here. I'm, I'm, I've been planning this for like a year to kind of rebrand a little bit to my original colors I had a um, long, long time ago. My friend uh, Jay, Wolves at My Door, he he did branding for me a long time ago. And I want to go back to these kind of colors. Uh, so we're going to rebrand like that pretty soon. So we got a little flag like that out front, which is cool. This is supposed to symbolize a little bit of a rope. You guys know I always try to do something like that. Uh, what was some other things? This is a new thing with roofs. I like, I, I haven't done this. I mean, I've used these trap doors, you know, on bottoms of roofs and stuff. But... I usually think, okay, a block is three feet wide or one meter. So it can't go out like more than one block away from the building, right? Because that would be kind of in re real life, that'd be crazy. But visually, we're one block away from the building plus a half slab, another block out. So with that half slab, you can kind of like half hide these. These really look like roof trusses coming down. The great thing about this, so we're, we're using... Uh, some of that artwork that Roman did. But now that we've kind of translated and built that in Minecraft, the great thing about this is now this roof, this cool roof slope that he had, that's in our memory. So now when we're trying to build on our own and we've got a bit of a rectangle thing uh, that we want to put a roof on, this is a cool roof style that we know how to do now. You know? So... That's a really nice thing about using reference is those references soon. Ah, I got to go to sleep real quick. Those references become part of your repertoire. So you, you build something that you've seen and then all of a sudden now it's in your memory and in your library and you can use it. This is that I wanted this to be green wool. It will look better when it's green wool. Trust me, but it's got to be green because it contrasts really well. There's not much color in this building. I want to get a little more color out here, maybe some banners and stuff. But red and green, they work really well together. Obviously Christmas colors, right? But uh, also complementary colors. So this is a cool little railing thing, okay? So, uh, you know, we don't have many options, especially for like a one wide stairway like this. So this is just a one wide stairway. You can't put a fence here, so usually we just use trap doors as a railing, but I kind of mix trap doors and signs, and I think that worked out pretty well. I'm ha I, I, I like it. I think it looks really good. It just kind of roughens it up. It makes it look like kind of a beat-up railing or fence, and I think that's pretty, pretty nice. Now, inside... Uh... Um... Uh... uh uh, oh, 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 uh, right. It's episode one, okay? Give, it, give me a break. <laughs> no gable, didn't finish the sidewall. These stems are hard to get. Uh, so no interior quite yet. Forgive me, please, but I have plans. One thing that in my original, the season one of building with B00, maybe episode one, I said, 
I want to build everything to code, to builder's code, because I was a general contractor at the time. I was a builder in a way. And uh, so I wanted to build everything to code. Let's try to do that a little more. If we do that, we can get details in. So in a building like this, you'll have roof trusses. Now, actually, we would probably have more support down the middle as well. But you'd have uh, some roof beams and truss or, or um, floor trusses. <laughs> These would be floor trusses going across. Great detail. Really good detail piece. So kind of knowing and like looking at your real life house uh, or, or knowing how it's made can be kind of helpful for details and stuff. But yeah, this is going to be our house. I think it's going to be very nice. We're going to have lots of space to store stuff and even make some machines. We'll get a basement. The reason why this is kind of like this is because I think we're going to have a basement under here. Uh, so, you know, I'm, it will be filled in. It's not going to be hollow underneath. Don't worry. <clears throat> but, but anyway, uh, I'm really Look at this view. Look at this view we're going to have. So the village that we've been working in, it is just out of render distance. I think that's good because we can be here and not worry about, oh, it's too dark out. The villagers might die. Um, we can just kind of do our thing over here, which is nice. But this view is amazing. So in 10 years, we're going to be here. Zero FPS. <laughs> I want to... Uh, this landscape looks so cool. I want to have buildings all over here. Uh, I, I mainly kind of plan to go this way, but I want to fill them out here as well. This whole thing's going to be covered. We got 10 years to do that. So plenty of time, plenty of time. I think it's going to be fantastic. I'd like to get some streaming in on this world as well. Hello donkeys. I'm just keeping them down there for, for the time being. Uh, I want to get some streaming done. I don't know what, you know, if there's anything super interesting. Uh, maybe we'll just do some like small building or maybe creative ideas, thinking about ideas for the interior and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. We'll get some streaming on here. And uh, yeah, I love it though. This is a great, great starter house. There's a term being used often right now by uh, a lot of the mid 30, 40 year olds my age say that they say life giving life-giving that was a real life-giving moment uh, i gotta say this process has been very life-giving and and not just because we, I, I i'm really oh you can see through the wall right there uh, don't look at it from that angle okay uh not not just the i'm loving this world i'm i'm having more fun than i've had in a very very long time here uh obviously it's day what now one forty one <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, I've been playing a long time in here. But uh, I've been letting you guys know the episode's coming. And the support you guys have been giving and the the uh, excitement for the series, it, it made me feel very, uh, very excited and alive. You know, this isn't, this isn't major entertainment level. Uh, this is more so, you know, just personal, just us kind of hanging out and doing some building and stuff. And uh, the fact that you guys love it so much and, and support it makes me feel so, so good. I, I, you don't know really how how valuable that is for me. It's something that uh, that means uh, the world to me. It, when we were, we've been doing this for so long, I, I just can't, I can't believe it. Oh, Right. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Just stop walking around the build, beat-ups. You're going to see everything. There's some stuff. There's some stuff. But it'll be perfect soon. Don't worry. But anyway, I have to wrap this up. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for all of the support. Whether you've been here for a year, whether you've been here for a month, a week, 10 years, I love you and I thank you for it so much. Here's to another 10 years.